Evo restaurant in Scottsdale. We have Chef Stephen Fowler in our kitchen this morning. Now we're making, okay, so there's ravioli and mm -hmm. ra ravioli and raviolo. Yes, ravioli, raviolo is a bigger ravioli. It's ravioli, just, this is a little guys. Okay, yep. this is one big one. One big one. One big one. Yep. Okay, all right, he's going to show us how to make it, but we got to start with the pasta first. Yep, so and we I have, love this little trick that you just did. Yes, yeah, so we just dampened a towel and we keep it over the pasta to keep it, uh, keep it moist so that it doesn't uh, dry out. So we have two sheets of pasta here. Okay, because you, so, you can do that at home, make it at home, and then just cover yep, it with make a it home. damp towel. And Absolutely, and, and that way, like I said, like I said it's going to stay fresh. It's not going to dry out. Great idea. You know, and you get a nice little stretch out of it. Okay. That uh, works out really well. So what we have here is a, a truffled ricotta. So we have uh, house-made ricotta cheese. Or I'm sorry, uh, ricotta cheese. We don't make this one in-house, but we have a ricotta cheese. Uh, we've touched with some herbs, a little bit of olive oil, truffle oil, Ooh. and then salt. And we're going to make our base that we're going to put the egg yolk in. So we're going to take in. A nice little fat circle of cheese. Oh man! Kind of, kind of helps make the dish. And then oh, we have. Oh, I see what you're doing. You saw you're me separating. A bowl. Yeah, I need a pocket to hold uh, hold the egg yolk in. So this is the duck egg yolk. These are the uh, farm fresh eggs that we get from Blue Sky oh, Farms. Okay. Um, so we've taken separated the yolk and the white. Now, why did you choose duck egg yolk? Do they have a different flavor? Yeah, they're much more. They've got a lot of richness to them that oh, you don't get how, out of chicken eggs. Look how cute um, that looks. The flavors just there. In my personality, I just I, li I like them better. I think okay. they're richer. Um, you know, growing up on a ranch when I was younger, uh, we had duck and chicken eggs both, and I always enjoyed the duck eggs more. No so, kidding. Yeah, okay. we had we had all that kind of stuff. We had geese and cows and pigs and goats and yeah. <laughs> oh, that's had, a whole nother. Yeah, show we had all, all that itself. stuff. Yeah, but it was it was a great time. But um, I, I personally like the flavor of the duck yolk better. I think it's richer and it just adds a richness to the dish that you know an egg, a chicken egg just doesn't have okay. for it. So I didn't know that. And then we'll huh? take, so we're going to add a little bit of water right around the edge here because we want to make the pasta sticky mm -hmm. so that when we put our top layer on, uh, everything holds together. Gotcha. So we're going to roll that around just like that. Let's so far, a very choice. simple yeah, recipe. Whoops. I mean, well, if I hadn't ripped it, we'd be, we'd be putting a nice one together. But so it did dry out a little bit too much just from sitting, but basically you're gonna push it around like this and you're gonna press out all the air. Okay. So you like that. And you get a little cheese, that's not that and big that's of a okay. deal. That's okay, no big yeah. deal. Okay. But if we had it, you know, if I hadn't torn it, that's then all right. we'll take and then you're seeing pop the out good here. side of it. Absolutely. We'll press out like this, nice and tight. Oops, sorry. You can rip that off. Okay. And then you have your and we'll press these down one yeah. more time to make sure it's all nice and tight. All right, and because it's so, live television, this yep. is just sometimes what happens. That's what happens. Oops, it, you know, you make right. mistakes, so basically, that's right. but it's all usable still. You can still you do know, it. Yeah, if you were doing it home, basically, take the top off, start, start over. over. Yeah, just start <laughs> over with a new sheet, absolutely. So okay. there's no reason to waste it just because it ripped. You just got to start over. But Or you could, like, repair it. See, that's what I would do. I could repair. I like don't you, quite think that would hold No, up. you don't think? We could, look, watch, it's watch. It's worth a yeah. shot. Look, look. We can repair. I look. I'm the craft queen. All right. There you this go. is what I do. That's true. And I think that you should go ahead and boil this just to see what happens. Okay. We'll, we'll throw it in and look, we'll watch. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you this is going to work, chef. All right. Look, this is going to work. You can eat this one. Okay. I will eat this one. Okay. I will eat this one. Not a problem. Okay. So. Okay. So I've I've repaired. We've repaired the rav. Oops. Uh oh. Okay. Absolutely. All right. Look. Look, even Broke better. Broke it down a little bit. Okay. Can I can I toss it in? You can toss that one in there. Go right. for it. Okay. So we'll slide that one in. All right. I got my we recipe. Have one you got in. yours. Yep. We have one in that's been boiling for us. Okay. And it's about ready. They'll take uh, about five minutes to boil. Is it this so one you right don't, here? Yep. That's not quite ready yet. Okay. But we're going to take some pancetta here. We're going to make our sauce for the dish. So a good amount of pancetta uh, that's already been rendered off a little bit. So Love the majority pancetta. of the fat has already been removed from this. So we're just going to pull a little bit more out. We're going to add in some butter. Okay. And basically all we're going to do is melt these together. Once the butter starts to brown, which won't take very long here. Okay, because we we're, we're out of time. We're out of time. This one, yeah. But can I pull this one out? Yep, so let's take that top one out. All right. We'll plate this thing up real quick. Can I quick. pull it out, Kim? Do I have time, producer Kim? There we go. Kim? Okay, she says yes. So let me go ahead and we'll then pretend like, ooh, look at that sauce you're making. Yep. I'm going to put it the right way. Perfect. Oh, that's beautiful. We'll take a little bit. Beautiful. So we have our butter melted. We have our pancetta fat Ooh. all together. We'll add just a tiny bit of the pasta water to it. Uh -huh. You see how it'll start to emulsify here? Yep. Now, this will take, you know, normally in, in the set, 30 seconds more. We got it. We pour our sauce right over the top. Oh. And then we're going to garnish it here with a little bit of shredded Parmesan. You are amazing. And a couple of parsley leaves. All right. And when you crack that baby open. I can't wait. I don't want to do it yet. I'm going to save it. Okay. I'm going to save it for the next segment because we're going to we're going to see how mine did. All right. All we'll right? check it out. All right. But <laughs> in the next segment, tell everybody what you're making. Nutella cannolis.
Two words I love, Nutella and cannolis. Delicious. Yummy. Excellent.